PACE 5000 is the first of a new generation of pressure controllers and calibrators from GE Sensing that are based on a modular platform providing high-speed pressure control and an intuitive, easy-to-use touchscreen display. In this video demonstration, we have a PACE 5000 with a full-scale pressure range of 145 PSI or 10 bar. The DPI-104 digital test gauge is connected to the test port and will act as a device under test. We are using a nitrogen gas pressure supply which can be adjusted with the external regulator. Let's zoom in to take a closer look at the LCD color touchscreen display. The PACE 5000 main screen is organized into three sections. At the top is the measure setup menu which provides functions such as zeroing the instrument, performing various pressure-related tasks, which we will cover later, changing the pressure units, and other configuration selections under Global Setup. Some menus have additional selections, in which case the More button will appear. To exit back to the main screen, simply select the exit door. The center section is the Control Setup menu. Here, we can vent the test port to Atmosphere, select the Nudge resolution, change the high and low set point limits, which help protect the device under test, select the control speed parameters, and also access the global setup menu. The lower section provides a numeric keypad, which is primarily used to enter the set point pressure. Let's return to the main screen and perform a typical calibration run. Since the DPI-104 is presently displaying units in PSI, we will select PSI on the PACE 5000. PACE 5000 includes 24 different pressure units to choose from. If the required unit is not included, there are four user-defined units that can be created. In addition to the DRUCK piezo-resistive sensor, which provides a one-year recalibration interval, reducing cost of ownership, PACE 5000 also includes sensors that monitor the source pressure and vacuum. We can change the center section of the display to indicate this information on the main menu, allowing the user to easily confirm the correct source pressure is applied. We will now adjust the regulator to set the supply pressure to approximately 160 PSI. The supply pressure should be set to 10% above the full-scale pressure of the installed control module. For this calibration run, we are only controlling positive pressures. If negative gauge or absolute pressures are required, we would need to connect a vacuum pump to the negative supply port. PACE 5000 allows you to change the control parameters to either maximize speed or, for high precision requirements, control to the set point with no overshoot. For this calibration run, we will select fast. Now that the source pressure is set, we will change the center section to display the effort meter, which continuously monitors the activity of the patented pulse width modulated control valves. This will allow us to quickly and easily determine if there is a large leak in our device center test connections. If the effort meter is in the center green section when the set point is reached, all is well. If the effort meter is outside the green area, this is an indication there may be a large leak which would need to be addressed before proceeding with the calibration. PACE 5000 provides immediate feedback to the user on the test conditions. We can also utilize the leak test function under the task menu, which we will see later. Either way, the choice is yours. Next, we will enter 50 PSI as the first set point pressure using the numeric keypad, and then select Control to change the PACE 5000 from Measure Mode to Control Mode. Notice how fast the PACE 5000 controlled to 50 PSI. Once the set point is achieved within user-defined limits, the color of the pressure display will change from blue to green, providing immediate feedback to the operator that the reading from the device center test can now be recorded. Since the effort meter is in the green zone, we have a leak-free setup and can proceed with the calibration run. We will now zoom out so we can see the pressure displayed on the device center test. 
If we prefer to be at a cardinal pressure reading on the device in our test, we can use the nudge arrows to increase the pressure by a user-defined magnitude. In this case, we set it to 0.01 psi. We can select the right arrow to nudge the pressure up so the device in our test displays exactly 50.00 psi. And then compare this to the reading on the PACE 5000. The left arrow allows us to nudge the pressure in the downward direction. Our next set point is 100 psi. Again, notice how fast the controller achieves the set point and the pressure reading changes from blue to green. We can nudge up to achieve a cardinal pressure reading on the DPI-104. We will now control back to 50 psi. PACE 5000 is so fast, we have to wait for the device under test to catch up. Next, we will control to 0 psi. We will then change from control mode back to measure mode and select the vent function. PACE 5000 includes a variety of built-in features to make the process of performing different pressure calibration tasks easier. So far, we have been operating in basic mode where we enter the set point value one point at a time. Alternatively, we can select from various other tasks such as performing a leak test, calibrating a pressure switch, test program, which we'll review in a minute, divider, which allows us to select a minimum and maximum pressure with evenly spaced intervals, and the preset that allows us to assign a custom sequence of pressure values that may not be evenly divided. Although PACE 5000 is provided with RS-232, IEEE 488, and USB remote interfaces, and is compatible with Intercal Advanced Software, the Test Program task provides an increased level of automation when not using a PC-based setup. Up to 100 programs can be stored in PACE 5000. Each program can have multiple steps and perform various functions. For example, in this program, the units are first set to PSI, the control rate is set to 20, the pressure resolution to 5 digits, and the slew rate to no overshoot. The unit will then perform a zero before controlling to the first set point, which is 40 PSI. If we want to make any changes, highlight the setting and select Edit. There are a variety of commands available, and we can easily insert or delete steps in an existing program. We will then select Exit and confirm that we want to save the changes to this particular program. As mentioned previously, PACE 5000 is designed on a highly modular platform. The control module can be easily removed to change pressure ranges or replaced with the same range when it is time for recalibration. It also simplifies the process when PACE 5000 is mounted in a rack or cabinet based system. To remove the module, first switch the power supply switch to the off position and unplug the power cord. All pneumatic lines should be vented and disconnected. Then, unscrew the four retaining screws and slide the module out of the chassis. For demonstration purposes, we have already removed the top cover of the control module. The control module includes the main pressure sensor, the optional barometric reference sensor which allows operation in absolute mode, the supply and vacuum pressure sensors, and the patented pulse width modulated control valves. Since all of the sensors that require recalibration are contained in the control module, there is no need to return the chassis when it is time for recalibration. A spare module on the shelf completely eliminates downtime. Since the pulse width modulated control valves are matched to the specific control module pressure range, optimal pressure control speed and stability is assured when changing control module ranges. A variety of control module ranges are available, 
from as low as 10 inches of water full scale, or 25 millibar, to as high as 3000 psi full scale, or 210 bar, providing maximum flexibility and rangeability in a single PACE 5000. To install the control module, simply slide it into the chassis and tighten the four retaining screws. PACE 5000 brings a unique approach to the marketplace in terms of its modularity providing greater flexibility and ease of use. Its high speed pressure control reduces calibration time, increasing productivity, and saving money. Please contact your local sales representative to arrange a live demonstration today. Thank you for watching this video demonstration of the PACE 5000 Digital Pressure Controller.